A simple circuit you can make to make a wireless microphone is shown here. Basically, it's an FM transmitter circuit. You need just two transistors. You can use the twin two 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 transistors. They are high frequency and they work fine. We also need a electric microphone. Basically, it's a capacitive microphone, so it's biased by the ten kilohms and the hundred kilohms, which also biased the first transistor Q1 which performs audio amplification so the output from the microphone is sent to the first transistor which amplifies it to about 2 volts then this is sent to the end base of the transistor Q2 capacitor C4 and C2 assure that the audio signal gets to the transistors and eliminate the DC voltage from the power supply R2 biases the final transistor Q2 so the emitter is connected to ground via this 470 ohms resistor which minimizes the current usage of the transistor circuit. So for the dissonance circuit, you can use a fixed capacitor C1 set as 4.7 picofarans. To design the air core deductor, you can use the electrode joint up or basically you can just make about 10 turns on a 3 quarter inch rod and ensure that the height is about 10 millimeters so you can also instead use a trimmer or adjustable capacitor for c1 with a capacitance of 0 to 40 picofarans or even 0 to 60 picofarans and this is good because you can obtain different frequencies as you wish so ensure that the output frequency is somewhere between 88 and 108 megahertz because that's the reception range for most FM radios. So for the antenna, you need to use a uh, 20 inches bare copper wire connected at the corrector of the transistor here. You can use a longer piece of wire to achieve more range. So the range can be anywhere from 300 meters to 1 kilometer for your microphone. You can use this to listen to your to your cell basically on any radio within the vicinity. So please like this video, comment, share, and subscribe for amazing tutorials and projects. And I'll see you in the next episode.